everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Donovan, this is Beyond the Brew. I really like beer and today I have compiled an entire gift guide for the beer and the booze lover. So let's get going. And just a quick note that this video is laid out via chapter, so if you're not feeling this particular gift idea, feel free to skip ahead. Number one is craft beer glasses. Now if someone you know likes craft beer or they're starting to get into craft beer, this is a great set to get someone. My mom got me this set like five or six years ago. I still have four left. I think there was five or six. But it's really good because the it's got a little bit of information in the box that it comes in and it kind of tells you what beer glass is for what style of beer, you know? This is for a wheat beer, this is for a pilsner. So it's a really good gift idea to just get someone who's just kinda scratching the surface about craft beer. All right, gift idea number two is uh, brewery swag. Now with the growing number of breweries around, it won't be difficult to find something awesome that's really close to you. You know, you can find things like socks, we got toques, we got beer cozies, we got different shirts, different hoodies, different hats, all the hats. Hats galore. Brewery branded glasses or tasters. I love these tasters. They're usually like two to five dollars and they're awesome. Beer soap, there's frisbees, there's crib boards, there's, there's growlers. Now note, if you are going to get someone a growler, just make sure that you fill it up for like right before you, you gift it to them and just let them know like as soon as they open up that growler, they should drink that within probably five days. Some people go a week to two weeks if it's unopened, but just five days is, uh, is a good rule of thumb for me. Really, when you go to a brewery, there are so many goodies available and you are supporting the brewery uh, at the same time. So nothing better than that. Okay, gift number three is the Brewmate Hopsulator. Hopsulator Trio. Now, what do we got here? We got, oh, the nicest beer cozy of all time. Basically, this thing, oh yeah, holds a tall can. Put this little phone book guy in it. This little, it's not a phone book. Small can, oh yeah, holds a small can just fine. Super easy to take apart. There we go, and Put this little plastic top on there. Now this acts like a tumbler or a coffee mug to go, great for tea. Um, I actually used this for iced coffee a few days ago. There was like four or five different ice cubes in it. I left it on my desk and uh, when I came back to it five or six hours later, like all the ice cubes were still fully intact and nothing had melted. So this is probably gonna keep drinks really warm and they're gonna keep cold drinks really cold. So this particular one, was a gift from my dad and it was purchased at the Establishment Brewing Company here in Calgary. And these guys were just awarded Brewery of the Year at the Canadian Brewing Awards. So you know what? I'm pretty stoked to have this. And um, this is definitely gonna be my number one go-to beer koozie, especially in the summertime, camping or hanging out by the lake or down by the river. I think they retail for $41 or $40 Canadian, around $31.50 US. I would say I personally would never buy something like this for myself, but getting it as a gift and already using it four or five times, I can say this is a keeper. This is a really good gift idea. Okay, gift number four is brewery tours. Um, I'll tell you one thing, I've never been on a bad brewery tour. It is such a great insight to the brewery. You get to hear their story and you get to check out all the brewing equipment, the tanks. You learn about the brewing process and there's almost always a few beers to try at the end. In my personal opinion, beers always taste a little bit better at the brewery. So due to COVID, brewery tours may be a little limited or booking may be far away, but it could also be a little more intimate with a smaller crowd, and that's maybe not the worst thing. Some breweries actually have brewery tour cards that you can buy, and they range from 15 all the way up to like 50 bucks for, for one or two people, so you can gift this brewery tour card to someone and then they can go and book the tour on them on their own and make sure that it works for whatever schedule they have now here's a tip might as well get yourself a little brewery tour card so you can go with them gift number five a kegerator this is a pretty big gift i'm not gonna lie physically and financially kegerators can range from four five hundred dollars all the way to above a thousand dollars but it is the coolest thing in the world draft beer at your fingertips. All someone needs is a place to put the kegerator. 
And if they don't have that, they will find that. Now you can also buy them a keg of beer to go along with it, or if they already have a kegerator, you can buy them a keg. They start around $120. You can also get a nice little kegerator cleaning kit, which range from $60 to $150. Those are actually really important, and a lot of people get them and don't realize you have to clean your keg. But the big one, in my opinion, is gift number six, tap handles. Tap handles are the best. Um, you can buy them at breweries. I think this one was like $25, this one was $20. Um, I bought one before that was $80 as a gift. You can also order some really cool specialty ones online, like this Sapporo one, which is a Japanese samurai sword. You can get them custom made online, and I will say, as a person who has a Kegerator, you cannot have enough tap handles at all, ever. If you don't know where to get them, if you know anyone in the bar, restaurant, or brewing industry, they may be able to hook you up since they, they get so many tap handles and cycle through a lot of beer. So that is a great place to start to see if you could score a couple freebies. Never hurts to ask. Gift number seven, beer or bar books. Anyone who has any appreciation for, for beer would absolutely love this book right here. It is called Tasting Beer Volume 2 by Randy Mosier. And this is probably one of the best beer books of all time. It goes through absolutely everything. History of beer, styles, different hops, different glassware, the brewery giants, the, the craft beer community. So fantastic and I couldn't recommend it more. I think it retails at around $25 Canadian. Any person who likes beer would absolutely love this book. It's always good to have a bar book around your bar to start to experiment with a couple different cocktails, especially if you've grown tired of just rum and coke all the time and you wanna try something new. Have a bar book, open it up, you never know what you might find. Uh, this book here, it's called Homebrew World. Homebrew World, there's more than 30 different recipes in this. It was um, $4 from Dollarama. And if anything, it's just like a nice coffee table book like it just looks good it's got a bunch of oh see that's just like a nice picture i like that beer people brewing that looks fun too just having a blast beer or uh, bar books never a bad idea give number eight handmade craft beer gifts this is one for my stepmother it's a hand painted beyond the brew adventures in beer uh sign and it looks absolutely awesome in this pub room. And I guess you'll see how fortunate I am uh, after I go through a few of these gifts uh, that I have such a very talented and creative family. Let's get into the second one here. My brother made me this and it's, it's a piece of wood and yet it still has this live edge on it. And what he did, he would burn my logo into this and it just looks so phenomenal. Like I, I'm over the moon with it. My mom on this little sign right behind me, she, she just cut vinyl out of her cricket and it says uh, drink local beer and she just put it over stained wood and uh, just turned out phenomenal. My girlfriend made this, this uh, it's like a tasting flight and all it is is wood, nails and some string and like this just pops off the wall like it is just so vibrant and colorful. There are a ton of different uh, beer craft ideas on Pinterest or other websites like that so you could replicate that and recreate it and if you're not on the crafty side that's fine there are a ton of talented people all over the internet especially websites like Etsy and they make extremely high quality items like beer signs or flight boards tap handles I actually got my dad a custom made tap handle from this guy out of Kentucky called Stickman Hardware. There were a few different logos and fonts to choose from, different wood to select, and they came with a chalkboard style sign so you could write the, the beer and the alcohol percentage on the side if you wanted to. It was like 80 or $90 with shipping and it's just a lovely handmade gift and it just shows that you put some thought into it. Okay, gift number nine is a homebrew kit. Now, um, this is really the only gift idea that I don't have a whole lot of personal experience with. I have not gone out to buy a homebrew kit since I think that I might just go all in and spend a ridiculous amount of money buying a bunch of equipment and, um, uh, and just brewing beer for the rest of my life, but I'm not gonna do that. So I, I will recommend it though. If you know someone who's kind of thought about maybe given homebrewing a shot or they really like beer and they're into science, this might be a, a decent option. And over the holidays, I think it was a place like Chapters, they had homebrew kits for like 70 to $100 there. You can go to any homebrew um, store, buy kits for as low as like $25. It might not give you a whole lot of beer, but at least gets you some idea or gets the person that you're buying the gift for 
a pretty good idea of what it might entail and if they want to keep going with it. And if you go to a homebrew store, they'll just kind of make sure that you have everything you need so you're not going to have to go back a bunch of times. Like a famous singer saying, you know, my mom bought me my first guitar. You could be the mom of a future famous brewer. I don't know. Gift number 10 is beer. Beer has been gifted for thousands of years and it's still an amazing gift today. As a person who made a YouTube channel about beer, I obviously get beer as a gift all of the time and I'm never disappointed. If someone gives me beer, I like to grab a taster set like this and share the beer with everyone so we can try it all together. See what tasting notes we get out of the beer, what we like, what we don't like, share some laughs and that really is my favorite thing about beer. I love beer. Gift set number one. You gotta get someone a whiskey set. You gotta get someone some, some whiskey glasses. Ooh, I need to wash these. Having a nice set of whiskey glasses is, um, it's kind of key to have, I think. Having a nice whiskey glass to drink out of makes me want to up my cocktail game and it also kind of makes me feel like James Bond. If someone comes over and I want to share a whiskey with them, like these glasses are absolutely amazing. Uh, especially if you don't have good whiskey because if it's in a good glass, people tend not to care as much. Gift number two is, uh, it's kind of vague, but like a unique glass. Sometimes the best gifts are the ones you never knew existed. My sister got me this glass for Christmas and uh, when you open it, you're like, what the heck is going on here? So it's a glass that has the three sisters trio of mountains replicated in the bottom of this glass. And it's so cool. The three sisters is this mountain range just outside of, of Canmore, outside of Banff National Park and it looks like the face of, of three women. It's kind of, it's a little more rounded for the, for the glass, I imagine, but it's a very iconic uh, mountain range, mountain range or trio of mountains. So this is from, I think it's called Mountain Park Glassware out of Edmonton. So definitely go check them out. Like this is such a neat glass, cool box, just awesome. I, part of me is afraid to use it. Like you drop an ice cube in there and it shatters a mountain. I don't want to shatter a mountain. Gift number three, bartender kit travel bag. This is really cool. My mom got me this for my 30th birthday. And I thought it was like a work bag and it's like, oh, oh, thank you very much. But this bag allows you to bring your bar wherever you need to and it's just so cool. I did not know that this was even a thing until my mom gifted it to me. All of the compartments are, are padded so you can have bottles of wine, bottles of booze. It holds quite a bit. It's got a whole shaker. There we go. Get a little shaker set in there. Oh yeah. And you got all your bar stuff. You got your muddler, your shot glasses, you got you some straws, you got strainers, nice thing. You have just, it's, it's just got everything for you. Don't forget the umbrellas. Don't forget the little bar napkins. Like this thing's a beast. This is awesome. I haven't really used it yet, but I can't wait to go somewhere. So this is perfect for when you find that cocktail that you just love and you want to have it on a nice summer day or if you're going to someone's house and you want to make it for them but you just know that they're not going to have the ingredients for that particular cocktail. Now you got an answer. This is it. This is from uh, Kermio. This is a pretty nice bag. I think it only retails for like $50. Sorry mom, I looked up the price for the purpose of this video. <laughs> this next alcoholic beverage gift is the corksicle whiskey wedge. There we go. So you keep this glass in the freezer with this mold in it. So when you take it out, you have a frozen chunk of ice that's sitting here at a 45 degree angle. You pour your whiskey into it and obviously it cools the whiskey down. Oh, you can see it there. Nice little 45. Just pour a little bit in there. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. That's really cold. Um, if you like chilled whiskey, this is uh, probably a pretty good gift idea. If you know someone who likes whiskey, but they don't like any ice or any water in their whiskey, then maybe think twice about getting this as a gift for someone. I think you would definitely want to make sure you drink out of the side. I think as this kind of heats up with uh, the heat of your hand around it or just the whiskey, this, uh, this little piece of ice could totally just knock a tooth out or something. As you can see, I am completely spoiled by my friends and family with all of the gifts I've received over the years. So 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get some good ideas if you're struggling to find something for the, for the beer and the booze lover. So if it did help, please give me a like and a comment what, uh, what it is that you found helpful because I really would love to know. That's all for today, so feel free to subscribe to the channel if you have a chance and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Chills are pretty good. Mm. It's a good scotch. Dalmore. Just a lovely bottle. Great single malt scotch whiskey. A single malt scotch. Single malt scotch whiskey. I don't think I'm saying it very well.